So just when I think, I'm like, yeah, I'm getting rid of all the things. Let's do this. It's going to be amazing. I open a closet. Wait for it. Ready? God. Oh, I have to get rid of so much of this. Godspeed to me, huh? Today's video is a throwback to before I left on this crazy world tour and I was in the process of shutting down my life. You'll see that I got a brand new camera. I was very excited about it apparently. You'll get to see how I started to purge all the things. What I don't cover is how I had to sell my car to sort of find a subletter for my apartment. I had to foster Barnaby with my parents on the farm. All crazy stuff. We're gonna take it way back to August 2017. Enjoy. That's what I look like over there with this ginormous thing in my hands. See? Ah, so bright out. But look at that view. All right, <laughs> let's set this up. It's happening. Are you ready? I've got two cameras here. The full rig is up. <laughs> Hi. It's Inception. Oh, hello. Ooh. Yeah, let's zoom out. Hi. So I've got my new vlogging setup. I have a brand new camera that I'm gonna be taking on my around the world trip. Let's just, can we take a minute? Sometimes just it's just hard to do your hair and the girls gotta, you know, it's about, hold on, wait for it. And we're back. Okay, I had to do a little something something to fix this. So can we just talk about the chaos that's happening right behind me right now? I just got done doing a little video recording with my little awesome tech setup right there. And now I am actually gonna go through my closet. It's time, it's time you guys. I've got 12 days, it's time to purge. I'm going for that capsule wardrobe thing, so we will see. See like, if you're a guy vlogger, I feel like you don't have to be as concerned because it's like, oh, I just got short hair and no one cares. Okay, so I am working on doing a capsule wardrobe for my trip around the world. To put it into context, as I went through my other video, which I will link somehow above me. I don't know, I don't know how to do it. I'll link somewhere, there's gonna be a link down below, I don't know. In my original video where I talked about I'm going on a remote work and travel year, part of that means I need to pack for a year. The thing to understand about packing, and I've done a lot of travel, it's not my first rodeo, but it is interesting because when you're doing a long-term trip like this, you're not obviously packing for an entire year. You don't take your entire wardrobe with you. You pack for about 10 to 14 days. You know, you'll do laundry and things like that. I will tell you, the planning of this year-long experience totally been designed around kind of chasing summer. I will be dressing for summer and or spring weather, except for one very notable exception, and that would be a month in Japan. I will be in Japan in December, which means it's gonna be, f oh, my phone just dinged. I'm popular, okay. No. That means I will be in Tokyo for a month when it's freezing cold. <laughs> I don't wanna bring a nice coat of mine and carry it around the world so I can have it for one month. That's the stuff I'm dealing with. Once I get it packed and I have the whole thing, like what I'm actually taking beyond just clothing, I'm gonna do a full video and show you exactly what I'm taking. Bags, to clothes, to toiletries, to gear, all the things. Stay tuned for that video, but this is all about purge in that closet. So here we go. Hi, hi, hi. Let's get some good lighting. Okay, hi everybody. I am going to get, just give you a little peek inside my closet. Let's get this place well lit. Let's get, oh, look who's under there. <laughs> look who I just found. Barnaby, you're sleeping still in bed, huh? You guys, he He's been out of bed. I've taken him out, we've played, we've done treats, and now he came into the bed, crawled under the bed covers to go back to sleep. How do you feel about yourself? Hmm. How do you feel about it, Barnaby? Yeah. This is the closet. I have a lot of clothes, but to be fair, I don't actually wear most of this stuff. You'll notice that I'm like a t-shirt kind of girl. Bazillion like elephant pants stuff that I bought on previous trips and things to Bali and Asia in general. And then of course this is full though, that's my underwear drawer, but this is full. T-shirts, yoga pants, yoga tops. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Okay, yeah, mm-hmm. Uh, other clothes, like seriously, I have too much nonsense. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next probably couple hours. Cue the time lapse. <laughs> progress I've like got organized piles check out the sell and donate piles so this is what I'm gonna try to sell and then this is the actual straight-up donation pile I am watching TEDx KC by the way you guys my dream is to do a TED talk I've done a TED talk I want to do a TEDx KC Kansas City TED talks just putting that out in the universe you know email them for me or tweet them or something and say hey you should have Brooke on <laughs> there it is right there and Barnaby hi Barnaby we continue I only have one two three eight drawers left <laughs> to to empty oh, okay Whew. Alright guys, I have made some major progress. I'm definitely not done. I do want to show you guys a really ridiculous collection of elephant pants that I have. If you don't know what elephant pants are, let me show you. These are elephant pants because they have elephants on them, see? And I only have like five billion pairs of them. Number one, number two, number three, four, five, six, seven. Those are all long ones and I'm I'm also wearing a pair. Hey! Then we have the the short ones as well. One, two, three, and four. Yeah. I have a little bit of a problem with the elephant pants. Whew. <laughs> Barnaby walk time. I'm never gonna clean out my closet. I keep finding every excuse not to do it. Here is the to sell pile. Pretty giant. And this is the donate pile. And all this is like sort of keep. You can see that the, the closet is a little bit thinner than it was before. Not organized, but it's definitely a little closer. I feel like, should this? Oh, hi. I feel, you know, pretty accomplished for a Friday night. Now the, the key is to get this all in trash bags, get it sold and or donated either way. Then my next project is organize it all. I can sort of start separating out, take this with me, leave this here, this goes in storage, this goes with me, and then make a list of stuff I need to buy, which I really don't want to have to buy that much, but capsule wardrobe life. <laughs> This is the situation behind me. What? All the things behind me right now. And I'm trying to sell these items and these items. That has been sold, the dresser. That I'm keeping. All the artwork has to be packed. That is a corner of stuff where I'm like, I think I'm taking this with me. Yeah, we've got we've got problems. Very disjointed and unorganized. Really all I've thought about is like, oh, I need some notebooks to write it, including this guy. Keeping this mirror, because it's badass and it belonged to my grandparents. The sofa is actually already sold. The kitchen is in disarray. This closet is looking better. Here we go. Look at that. Most of that will go into storage. My bedroom, this is deceiving because I did sell my bed. This is just an air mattress. Yeah. A friend is gonna be using the dresser and the nightstands while I'm away. My closet is much emptier. That's looking. Pretty good. I haven't even touched the front closet. Mwah. Yeah. So, progress, not progress? Huh. All right, so my parents are coming tomorrow morning to help me load everything into their truck and trailer. And hopefully, this is a very different scenario. 2,000 years later. Hi. You guys, I've thrown away enough stuff. I have an empty tub. Power to the people. I just sold all of my kitchen stuff. Empty floor. Hey. But I still have linens. <gasps> Somebody buy my linens. <laughs> I have a bike rack I'm still hoping to sell. And lots more packing 
to happen. All right, let's do this. The kitchen is almost done. I know it doesn't look like it, but almost all of the cabinets are completely empty down here. It's, this is empty. Yeah, it's like chaos before things get better. But now I need to organize and purge my office things. I'm gonna put everything out here in the middle of the floor, get it organized, and hopefully have less stuff. Here we go. Most of the stuff I haven't touched. This tub, I have not touched since I moved in to my apartment. I don't even know what's in here. Oh, my diplomas. Probably gonna keep those. Random nonsense I have saved all these years. This might be actual photos from what, from what? Oh my gosh, these are from college. So I gotta keep these because when I was in college, there was no social media. Facebook began, I think my senior year in college. So I didn't get a chance to really document my life like kids today can, or like I can now even with my own life. I don't know what else is in here. Oh, prom picture. I gotta keep this. Maybe not all the things, but I gotta keep it. All right, here we go. Here's another time lapse. Okay, so that took a little bit. I have a pile of trash over there. That's a lot, right? Still a lot to go, okay. You can never have too many power strips. <laughs> It happened. Gallery wall, it's gone. Bummer. My apartment is looking very sad. I'm trying to tape up the mirror. This is not for puppies. <laughs> Cutest dog ever. August 28th. I leave in like 48 hours. 48 hours and 30 minutes actually, to be precise. And as you guys can see, my place is kind of in a shambles at this point. It's just chaos and like junk and trash, I feel like. Not my finest hour, but everything is pretty much in storage. All this stuff is just like randomness that I need to finish sorting and packing. I've got one tub left that's empty. I'm heading to the office now uh, to WeWork. Yeah, WeWork. And <laughs> gotta get a lot of work done today before about one o'clock and then the rest of the day I'll be tackling this chaos. I'm starting to actually pack for this adventure. <laughs> Yay Monday! Yeah, pretty 
get a lot of them before 8 a.m. Let's do this. Ha, ha, ha. 